Good morning. Let's play some chess. 15 minutes, 10 seconds increments. And let's see who we are playing today. And well, the computer is searching. Let's get some coffee. Right, so we have black, black against Shalem four five five from the Philippines. We play a lot of people um, um, from the Philippines. I think, yeah, maybe that's a fun thing to do to make an, an overview of the. Uh, the the countries we play against. Um, now I will retreat a bishop um, because well there's no pawn on the d4 and yeah, now it is but. <clears throat> So we get the knight out. Now we want to take. Well, yeah, maybe we want to take. Yes. And if knight takes, uh, well, we take. And uh, yeah, let's take, let's take the pawn. Now we have some pressure here on the pawn. That is nice. We can develop the bishop with some with tempo. I mean it is a check. Probably a piece will blockade. Um, Yeah, I like that. And then I can develop the knight and get the rook to c8. It's all good. It's all good so far. Okay, so the bishop develops. Uh, we can. Uh, we can um, do something like this just so we can recapture with the queen that could be an idea now why do i want to do that well to pressure the pawn so um So maybe that's not even that that crazy. Um, it's a little bit funky. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a weird setup, but the idea is to take, take, and then, I don't know, Get to that pawn somehow. <clears throat> we will see. My opponent has a lot of options. He can develop the knight, he can take, of course, he can kick the bishop out. Which is maybe a good a good idea. Let's uh, get my bishop to safety. Uh, yeah, now I, I, I have to take, it is what it is, queen takes, do we go for a queen trade? Uh, probably, if I do that, the knight will develop, 
I had some ideas of going here. Um, hmm. So takes, takes. Now he's covering, he's covering that square. Um, and what if I let him take me? And I just develop, you know, I don't know, develop a rook. I mean, why not? Okay. <clears throat> so he definitely doesn't want to, to trade there. Now I... Let me think where I want the queen to be. I mean, uh, I can go here. What do I do on that move? Um, then I have to move the knight. Uh, I can move the knight here and then eventually go there. Um, Yeah, I like that I have long-term pressure here on the port. I also need to develop, finish my, finish my development. <clears throat> now, is that possible? Can I take? What if the knight takes? Um, now I kind of regret that I didn't go here to uh, have more pressure on the knight. Um, let me think. Let me think about it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I have a feeling that there is something here, but uh, I don't. I don't see it yet. Now this move. Yeah, I have to go to the rim. It is what it is. Well, it's not even that bad of a move, but. Oh, he jumps in. I know what he wants. He wants to give me a check. Yeah, that's quite an annoying night. Not gonna lie. That is quite the annoying night. Okay. Okay. Now I can go here and allow the check, but that is that is just stupid. Um, so here, but what's 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 the real threat? You know, I I don't know. Knight goes here, rook up. I mean, I don't really see. Uh, 
the problem here. Ah, okay. So he wants he want he wants that. He wants my bishop. Okay. Well, it drops the pawn, so I can just take the pawn, and probably I will. The question is, do I take with the knight or with the queen? Now, the benefit of taking it with the knight is um, I'm threatening this fork. Um, and I'm also threatening to take the knight. The benefit of taking with the queen is that it most likely will um, result in a queen trade. So let's... Now I just need to be careful. Well, I do need to be a little bit careful about tonight. Um, but I think I think this is fine. I think we are winning a pawn. Of course, he can castle. Well, if he castles, I think I will grab another pawn. Or if he declines the, the, the queen trade. I mean, I am threatening to take another pawn. So. Uh, okay, so he goes for that, uh, but I have uh, I have this nasty check. I can just win a rook here. I mean, I can win a rook with check, and then recapture the the knight. I mean, this is just this is winning. And now he resigns. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh, we did make a blunder and two mistakes, according to the uh, preview. Or well, let's see the analysis. Let's see the blunder. Weird game. But uh, yeah, that happens sometimes. Seventy-seven point two. Well, this is uh, what is happening. I remember those days. It was not long ago. It was like a week ago, two weeks ago. We were just playing games in the high 90s. 92%, 98%, 96%, 90%. In the last couple of days, we are just not playing good chess. What is going on? Now here, taking the knight is the right move. And I knew it right after I played it because this is such an annoying, annoying move. Is that also a computer move? Let me see. Yeah, D d4 actually. Okay. So not e6. Huh. I would have considered e6 in this uh, position because yeah, it's annoying. You, you sacrifice a pawn, but as a Carol Khan player, trust me, this is not what you want. Um, I should have taken the knight. I went back here, here, and now I'm quite happy with the position actually. So I don't hate it. Um, white is slightly better, but. Taking was an inaccuracy. Hmm. What was the best move? Bishop takes f3. It really wants to take the knight. Bishop takes. Bishop recapture. Huh. And then bishop b4 check. So this is what the computer is suggesting. Takes, takes. Then develop. 
and then King F1 serious. Oh, come on, stuckfish. Who's playing? Who's playing that? No human. Everybody plays like this. And then Queen B6. Yeah, okay. Pressure that pawn. Yep. Okay. Well, kind of the same ideas, only a different execution and a different move order. Yeah, now I know. Now my now I don't have the option to take the knight anymore and uh, release, uh, remove a defender of that pawn. Yep, that is it. Okay. Rook here. Yeah, uh, I think I think Queen C seven was slightly better. In hindsight. Yeah. Com no computer says oh all the way back but it no no no, no it's it's it thinks all these moves are, are fine i went here now the knight hops in castling it's the best move um now he hops in with the knight Yep, that's no. It's not the best move. Rook c to d8. It wants to go here. Um, but it doesn't hate rook c7. It's the second engine move, so it, it gets an inaccuracy. But it's actually just a very good move, and I like it. It prepares doubling in the future. Protects the 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 the, the seventh rank, and that was a blunder. Because ah, knight takes d4 is better. Threatening the fork here. Um, so what happens after this move? Yeah, I, use, I think I will play. No, you. F takes g6. Ah, I see what's going on here. Ah, yeah, well, it wasn't on my radar. I was just like, well, okay, here, here. And, well, I'm just threatening a couple of things. I can t take the bishop, but, yeah, it's just this. And then, okay, and now what? C2 check. Hmm. It's protected by the rook, so this has to move. Yeah, now you have to play chess. Well, I like this. Just uh, queen takes, knight takes, and uh, ah, I can even take with the knight actually, pressuring the pawn. Um, yeah, maybe that's even better. And well, it's it is. Can he defend the pawn? No, it's undefendable. Yeah. Hmm. Funny. Well, this is great, right? You up two parts. So that was how it could have go. But uh, he blundered the rook with check. An in between move. All right. Well, that was it for today. Quick game, but uh, I have enough things to do so that works out. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Um, and I hope I will see you back tomorrow for a new game. Goodbye.